Hello, we are in Springfield, Illinois. After lunch, we're going to go to the Lincoln home. But for now, I am craving Asian food. So we're here at Little Saigon. Here we are at lunch. I'm having Mongolian beef. And Walter is having... Sesame chicken. Sesame chicken. Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. We are at the Lincoln... <laughs> we are at the Lincoln Home National Site. Monument. Is that a monument? Oh, site. Okay. okay, we don't know where we're at. We never do. Uh, the visitor center is closed, so I cannot get my stamp. But I will call them later or tomorrow afternoon and tell them that we were here today. However, the little village one block street is open. So we're going to just walk around. And then uh, we were told by the souvenir stand across the street, the gift shop, which is not part of the national park system, that the Lincoln tomb is open. So we're going to go over there too. Here we are in front of the actual Lincoln house that he and Mary Todd lived in for about 18 years and raised four their, children. Four, their four kids. Really nice. This is a nice one block area here in downtown Springfield. It's adorable. <laughs> Everything, all the buildings are closed, but you can walk around and just see the neighborhood. So, and that's what we're doing, along with a few other people. We're just, we're just doing our cardio walk. I would love an old Victorian. They have a lot of them in the historic district in Galveston, but he won't let me buy one. All right, we're gonna walk around some more. I'll do, we'll do flashes of houses here and there. All the national parks, most of them are closed. And there's actually no reason why they should be. It's all, every, all this whole BS, because of one man and it's not the president and it's not the governors it's not either re parties it's all because of what's his name Fauci. Fauci. Fauci that man is an idiot and should be fired from his job he should be thrown in jail he should be executed for what he's done to the economy of this country he's an idiot oh look it's it's a wooden boardwalk this is Great! Which way do you want to walk? I'm not in charge. Okay, we're going to walk that way and then go around the block and then just head down that way. Back to the car. Oh look, they continued it as a, as a walkway. That's nice, into a park area. Oh! <laughs> look, it looks like that house, and that house, and that house. Oh, that's not part of the monument over there. I think that's it. Okay, we'll go back to the car. After a while, all the houses look like bro track homes. <laughs> when you first see it, it's like, oh, how exciting! But now it looks like a track house. All of them look alike. Okay, these wooden sidewalks, they look really nice and authentic. I tripped twice already. These boards are not level. <laughs> this is the part that I don't understand how YouTubers can do this because my arm hurts now. We're still in Springfield. This is Lincoln's tomb. One of the few Lincoln things that are actually open. The National, the li Lincoln's Library is open, but apparently you need to make a reservation. So I'm going to try to make a reservation for tomorrow. All those statues were also made partly with metal from melted down cannon that were used in the Civil War to further represent all the sacrifices of those years. And right below the statues, you can see shields that go around the monument. Those shields represent the 37 states that existed at the time the monument was dedicated in 1874. They're in the order of admission, and the shields are linked together to again represent national unity.
Now we're just driving around the cemetery. Apparently this is a municipal cemetery, so it doesn't matter what your religion is, you can get buried here. It's, it's a beautiful cemetery. I love cemeteries, I don't know why. It's, it's nice and peaceful. It's a wonderful, peaceful park. No, no one makes noise here. It's great, there's no children around, right? Yelling, screaming. Wow. Okay, we are at the Abraham Lincoln Library and Museum. When you first come through the entrance... Presidential Library. Oh, Presidential. Okay. Beautiful atrium over here. We've got the first family here. With their... Why is there only three? I thought they had four kids. Okay. So, we can film except in the theaters.
are at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Museum and Library. This was a really good exhibit, worth the stop in along Springfield and doing the Lincoln House, the Lincoln Tomb, and now the library. It's been a really good visit here in Springfield, Illinois. Here we are again at Bob Evans. We had dinner here last night. The roast beef was absolutely delicious. So I know it's a chain store, but it's a chain restaurant. However, this chain restaurant is only in the East Coast. Well, I consider this East Coast. So we're having lunch here today. We are both having a hamburger lunch. I'm having a regular hamburger and Walter's having cheeseburger. Hello from Springfield KOA in Illinois. We are here at a 50 amp, water pressure is good, sewer, and we're fully shaded. It's really nice. Alright, now since the wind is blowing right now, it's really lovely out here because there are no mosquitoes because there's a breeze. However, in the mornings and later in the evening when the wind dies, dies down, the mosquitoes in this park is horrendous. They come in swarms and attack you. Uh, my entire leg is covered with mosquito bites right now. It's, I'm not really too happy about it. I've been spraying myself with mosquito repellent spray. So that is something I can do personally. However, the park itself is not spraying or trying to mitigate the mosquito population here. What they could easily do is just plant lavender plants all the way around the park. Or mint, just, just throw a couple of mint plants down. They are invasive and just take over. And they smell good. So I don't know. That's one reason. Another reason that I'm not too crazy about this park is the sewer situation. Their hookup is scattered. Let me show you. Okay, this is where the electric pedestal is. And then you social distance about six to seven feet is where the water is. And then you social distance another six to seven feet. It's where the sewer is. So I actually had to pull out our sewer extender. For the first time this year. So the sewer, their hookup panel is not in one location. Not, not really too happy about that. And if you can see this other site next to us it's the same thing the electricals there water is there and all the way in the back is where their sewer is at so this park must be from the 70s now, right over here is where the Wi-Fi is at the end of this park we're, we're right right across this little path from it and they say they have Wi-Fi here, but they actually do not. The Wi-Fi here sucks. So those are the three reasons why I would not stay in this park. One, Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi is very important to people. So number two is their, is their hookup situation. It's not, not centrally located. And number three is their mosquito, the mosquito population there is terrible. So those are the three reasons why I would not stay in this park again. But other than that, there, it's a clean park, there's no trash. The only debris that's around are the natural ones, which is, which I like. They're just leaves on the ground, which is not a big deal. The park is clean. And the park is uh, within probably three to four miles from the freeway but it seems like you're just driving a long ways in country roads. It's kind of nice but kind of irritating when you're hungry to get to the restaurants. So that part is really nice out right now with the wind. There's no mosquitoes.
windows. Too bad it's not always windy. Again, lovely park. As long as um, we're only here for one or two nights. We were here for three nights, which is a little bit too long for this park. If we do come by this area again, I think I'm just going to go find an independent park that's not part of the KOA system. Maybe one that's a little bit closer to Springfield, the town, it's the city itself. Well, I call it a town. They think they're a city. They're not. So, that's my impression of this park. Yeah, it's a nice park. It's just not for us. Alright, our next stop is near Pullman and the Illinois Sand Dunes. Okay, we're still here at Springfield and tonight we are having dinner at Lakefront Grill. Lake, Lake Point Grill. So we'll see how the food is here. Okay, I'm having Atlantic salmon over pasta and it's delicious. The salmon has been seared so it's still moist inside. I'm always afraid to order salmon sometimes because they overcook it and this is not and that is pork rinds and it's still crackling it's fabulous and Walter's having meatloaf with mashed potatoes and really good green beans and, meatloaf. and the meatloaf is excellent it's bacon wrap so yes we would eat here again this is the end of the video Thank you for watching. Bye. Now we gotta look for the car. I think we're over there.